Hey folks, Cats here with another After Effects tutorial. Today we will be doing this cool swing effect. It's really easy to do. Take a look. All right, let's get started here. I'm gonna go ahead and open up After Effects. As you can see, I have already created a 1920 by 1080 comp. I made the background a nice green. And we're gonna start off by adding text to the screen. So I'm gonna click the horizontal type tool. I'm gonna click on the screen, howdy. And you can adjust the font, the size, and the spacing here, but I'm happy with how it looks right now. So I'm just going to go to a line and I'm gonna line that in the center of the screen. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this anchor point to here. So how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna click this button here, the pan behind anchor point tool. And I'm gonna just manually move this to right here. And I'm gonna try to get it as centered as possible. We are going to toggle on the 3D animation part of this layer and the motion blur. Now, if we open up the text layer, we go into transform, you'll see that there's three new options here, X, Y, and Z rotation. So the one we're gonna be playing with is the X rotation. And the first thing we're gonna do is just set our end keyframe because this is how the animation is gonna end. So I'm just gonna hit the X keyframe here and I'm gonna move this down a bit. I'm going to make another keyframe and we're going to move this to about 90. Now we're going to go to the end here and we're going to add another keyframe right here next to the last keyframe. And we're going to make this about negative 30. Now I'm going to highlight the keyframes. I'm going to right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. So now we're gonna play it, let it render. Now let's see how this looks. All right, that looks pretty good. You can adjust the keyframes, you can move these farther apart if you want it to be slower or closer together if you want it to be faster. I'm happy with this speed, so I'm just gonna leave it as is. Now the last touch I'm gonna add is get rid of this little line here. So I'm going to select the text layer and I'm gonna hit T on my keyboard for opacity. We're gonna mark two keyframes, one at the beginning and one a little closer down the line here. We're gonna go back to the first keyframe and we're gonna set it to zero. And again, you can select the keyframes, F9 for easy ease. If you wanna see all the keyframes that you're working with here, select the layer and hit U on your keyboard. So this is everything. Now I'm gonna let it render and then give it a play. Well, there you have it, folks. An easy swing animation that you can add to your videos. I hope you found this helpful, and if you did, please give this video a like and subscribe for future Adobe tutorials. I hope you all have a fantastic day. I'll see you soon.